Hey there, either holder fire family. Welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this we reaction to the Dragon Prince season three, episode four. If you like access to the full unedited reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. But anyway, let's get right into it. Last time on. Just kidding. I always skip that part because I, I I remember what happened before. Oh hello, wind bird thing. I was flying over you. You're not gonna. Oh, what are you, a harpy? I'm not gonna kill the wind bird, are you? Oh. Oh. Well, I guess that answers that question. Aw. Aw. Oh. Oh, it's the uh, the arrow that. I forgot what his name was <laughs> that he sent. So she intercepted it. Why? Why are you smirking? Oh, because now she knows that the dragon prince is alive. <laughs> Callum, you're not very good at writing it. Uh, maybe it'd be better just walking. Yesterday must have been a hard day for you. Must have been? Not really. Back when I was a kid, my family used to do this thing called Big Feelings Time. Big you Feelings close your Time? Eyes and ask person says they hear your feelings, and it makes you feel good. Okay. Humans are so weird. <laughs> feelings, what are those? We don't talk about those here. I don't think you wanted to go faster, Cal. So Leave me alone. Big, big feelings. Big, big feelings. You don't stop pestering me about this right now. I'm going to give you a big feeling on the side of your head. I think he's already got a big feeling in his heart. <laughs> Prince Kasef of Neolandia requests an audience. Okay. What's he gotta say now? Oh, he's marching in with business. <laughs> he means business now. I'm here to deliver an ultimatum. Uh, ultimatum? It means I'm forcing you to make a final decision. I know what an ultimatum is. He's treating Ezra in a s okay. I kind of understand because, like, if you don't know Ezra, you would think he's just your like average garden variety. Like, I'm guessing he's gotta be like twelve, something like that, twelve, thirteen. So I understand that, but at the same time, uh, it'd be different if Ezra was like, "What does that mean?" and he looks confused. But the fact that he just goes right ahead and it's just like, it means this. It's like. It just comes across as condescending. <laughs> Their people are angry and want justice. Of course they do. They're, They're running off emotions first. Arcadia. You dare violate our borders. We do. We do. Here is your ultimatum. If you will not stand with us, then you stand, you stand against stand us. In our way. Oh. Well, I mean, pretty much the same King thing. King we can show Zadia the strength and righteousness of the human people. Righteousness? Kingdoms. Three armies will wage war on Catullus. Oh. What? Wait, so you're gonna fight? You're gonna go up? What? what? Wait, what? That's not even like, get out of our way. That's, oh, we're gonna mow you down either way. Oh, please don't go into like a nose, nostril, or eyeball. Please, that's it. Preparing you for greatness. What kind of greatness? Be still. What are you gonna do with the eye? At least it's not threading. You know, that's the gross. That's still ill. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not painful, but it's just gross. The one that Callum was riding is a lot more skittish than the, like, lion, feline one that Rayla's riding. Really, Callum? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fix the elf. Oh, it's you. Are you gonna be friend or foe? My name is Naimi Salari Nikatia, but they call me Nix. I was about to say, can you shorten that by a bit? Because I'm gonna end up calling you. What was your first name again? My name is Naimi Sal I would literally just call her Naimi. I would not bother with the rest of it. Nikatia, but they call me Nix. Yeah, I'll just call you Nix. Hi, Nix. My name's Rayla. They call me Rayla, and I'm in a bad mood. Either you fly away. I'm hangry, just. Oh, I am an emissary of the Dragon Queen. 
She received oh. your message and she sent me to help you. Oh no, you want the dragon prince. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. All right. I am at your service. Wouldn't they know whether the dragon queen had an emissary or not? And if she had an emissary, why even bother sending a letter to the dragon queen personally? Why not send it to the emissary? Like, huh? Cal, I'm just and throw away the hammers. Must be. I swear to God, if she says an elf, then she is so kissing her ass. I'm an earth blood elf. Please don't do the accent, Callum. Please. Oi. Oh, does it now? Oh my God! Please, not the anime transformation. Wait, they even have the rainbow effect from Sailor. Oh my freaking lord. What was that with the freaking mount? Even it poses? Are you kidding me? That was me all along. I was the human. Wow, could have fooled me. No, oh, and he has his mother's eyes. I want to like her, but I feel like instead of Nyx, it's Jinx. No, not even Jinx. I, she's a trickster. To fly him directly home. That's mm -hmm. not gonna happen. Thank you, Rila. Yes, hug him, hold him close. We're doing just fine on our own, Nick. <laughs> I can get the baby dragon home fast, and that's what matters most. Does it? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. We are not I'm so glad Rayla is so like suspicious of everyone. Also, interesting. Wait, are her wings attached to her lower back? Almost for butt. Letting you take Zim. Oh wait, you have double wings, don't you? Oh, wait, no, you don't. Cause I thought maybe that these were a different pair of wings that are like here, and then these are smaller wings down here. But I've never seen a design where the wings are like down here. They're usually always up here. Huh? Interesting. Understood. Well. Point how taken. About this? I can give you all a ride. Not interested. All a ride. How can they give them all a ride? You're, I don't think you can carry two big animals and two a elf and a human. Do we look stupid? We're not. <laughs> Do we look stupid? <laughs> I love Rayla so much. <laughs> look at Callum in the back, just like smiling. The way you're smiling though doesn't sound like you're pleading with them, or uh, you're like smirking. Like you look sus. <laughs> like I don't trust. Yeah, Rayla, stay suspicious. Or stay cautious of her. Army was the best trained and most disciplined force in the kingdoms. Are we really gonna fight the other kingdoms? Won't be easy, but we will triumph. But oh, look at how Bates looking. Yeah. The necessary cost. Many mm. lives. Oh. How many? Give me an answer, a number. An estimate. Thousands. Probably tens of thousands. Holy sh and the night is even worse. worse. I would think it would drop temperature. That's the haunted and horrifying part. It's infested with soul fang serpents. They suck the spirit out of their victims, turning them into barely living husks. Why are you sound like you're making this uh, out worse than it is? That. There she is. What is that a giraffe? That's my ride. An ambler. Ambler? Is it gonna be like a giraffe long neck thing? Oh, I like your look so far. Oh, you're cool. You're like a... Oh, you're so cool looking. You're like a deer... Okay, I think I have a new favorite creature design. This thing is so cool. It looks so like... It looks like a cross between... Like a deer... But also like a white... Like a camel with a bird. And like a ram? I don't know, it's really cool looking. And this is gonna save us a week. You sure? And then she takes you into the to a like completely different direction and then okay. it takes you longer. Oh. Gets crushed by the tail. Can I have like a figurine or a plushie of that one? Or as one. Thanks, babe. That helps. <laughs> He's like massaging his back. Yeah, I would not want to be a ruler. Mm. You can save these lives. How? 
Oh, so those are the snakes. Oh my god, you brought some of the Adora burrs? Console your girlfriend. <laughs> Come on, Calum, cheer up. What? Nothing. I was just wondering what you're thinking about. I'm fine, Callum. Like I already told you. Uh huh. Oh. Uh oh. What'd you fall into? Hopefully it's not quicksand. Uh, great. I just need to go down and get her foot out. Don't touch my stuff. Yes, ma'am. No, no, I know it's shiny, but don't touch it. Don't be a bird. <laughs> don't touch it. What is it? <laughs> right, look, she what pops up. Staring at that thing. It's shiny. Lift. <laughs> it doesn't understand. <laughs> Something so strangely familiar. Did you see it in a dream? Oh my god! No! They did not just do a reference of Sokka with the boomerang. Frickin- are you kidding me? Uh-uh. Something so strangely familiar. It's like I knew you from another life. Another universe. <laughs> boomerang? <laughs> the way he says it too, like- Oh my god, you know, that's the one benefit of this being, like, what this being made by one of the creators of Avatar Last Airbenders, you can make references like this, and the fact that it's freaking uh, Sokka's VA voicing Callum, it's just like, <laughs> it's great, <laughs> I love it, and Rayla's so confused, like, what? It's okay, don't worry, I'm sure Rayla won't be turned into the moon, right? <laughs> She's, I, I, nah, okay, there's no way it's a coincidence that Rayla's a moon shadow elf. And Callum's a human. When in Outhouse Airman or Sokka was a human, and then his girlfriend, <laughs> his first girlfriend, turns into the moon. Come on. <laughs> Let's move. You touched it, Callum. Put it back. I know it's familiar from another time, another life. Just don't, no touchy. Go get your own baby ring another time. Maybe she'll give it to you if you ask. Maybe she'll make you one. <laughs> Are you eating a jelly, jelly tart? Yes, you are. Of course you are. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna know what these taste like. Probably sweet and a little bit- Well, jelly tart, so a little bit tart. King Ezrin? Are you in the hole? Is that you? Ha! Uh, I'll be sure to leave it broken. Leave it broken? Would you like a jelly tart? That's not why I'm here. But yes, always. <laughs> always? Bait would want one too. Or most of them. If anything happens, I mean, something might happen. Are you leaving bait to him? And I need you to take care of bait. Really? You're gonna leave bait to him? You understand what he needs? And jelly tarts. Infinite supply of jelly tarts and uh, understanding and love. Yeah. Understanding and love. Mainly the tarts. <laughs> Takes one to go. Or just takes the whole tray. <laughs> I keep thinking they're gonna take us one. Aww. Aww. Always seen you as a kindred spirit. Have you? <laughs> that noise! No! What was that noise? It was like a it was like a purr burp. That was cute. Okay, it wasn't even a burp, it was like a purr growl. That's so cute. I want to trust Nyx, but it does look like an oasis. What are those things around it, though? They look like dragon bat things. Uh, I really, uh, just don't drink the cactus juice. I swear to God, if they make a reference to that, too. In the same episode while in the desert. Oh, okay, you gotta. Or do a mushroom. It's really cold here at night, so we'll need these. Welcome to a desert. I wasn't sure uh, if you guys needed two blankets or just one. Ah. Two. Yeah, two. Because uh, cause if there was just one, then... <laughs> two. 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 Suit yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is right. <laughs> Hold up. Here at night, so we'll need these. I want to see Rayla's reaction more. I wasn't sure uh, if you guys needed two blankets or just one. <laughs> <laughs> two. Yeah, two. Cause 
I love how she's just like, wait, wait, wait. Was she kind of hoping he would say one? Two. Cause yeah, she seems to get annoyed or like a little bit like upset. Look at her playing with her hair. Like she gets upset when he says two. Yeah, two. Cause, uh, cause if there was then she gets more upset as he pushes it further. That's two. Were you hoping he was going to say one, Rayla? <laughs> are you done uh, creating a... What are you doing with this eye? It is ready. Open your eye. That's disgusting. Oh, interesting. You can hear me. But you can't see me. Or now you can see me. And now you can see mm -hmm. me. Interesting. And hey. I can better serve you. Hey, I don't like his design. I don't trust him, but he's cool looking. Is there smoke coming from Nyx's head? Or is that ice? No, that's smoke, isn't it? And it smells like... Not smells. <laughs> I can't smell. Of, <laughs> I can't smell. So, I swear, if they ever start implementing smell into stuff, that's going to be weird. I don't think they ever could, though. Um, unless they put, like, a device, like, up to your nose that simulates smell. No, I'm surprised that nobody's ever come up with something like that, even though that'd be really weird. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, it sounds like some her head is smoldering, like burning. <laughs> Little Dora burrs. Little squeaky noises they make. Rayla? She crying. Did you say something? <laughs> you okay? Rayla, it's okay. Get away from me! Aw, oh, he sounded so soft there. Don't leave Zim with her. Ah, ah, ah! I know what I have to do. Okay, now I'm wondering if I'm remembering correctly when he, when uh, Prince, what, uh, uh, vegetable hater, um, said that the two, the he said somewhere where they no, because uh, Anya is the ruler for the, her kingdom alone. So, because her parent, her moms are already gone. So it wouldn't be them. So then she's gotta be around. I wonder if this is how her and Ezra are gonna meet and then she's gonna like listen to him. Hmm, this would be interesting. I feel like I feel like that's what's gonna happen. I feel like Ezra and her are gonna like click, not romantically or anything, not yet, <laughs> but we'll click and like relate. And so, uh, cause with Ezra having lost his parents and Anya having lost her parents, um, he'll be able to talk Excuse me, be able to talk to her, especially since Anya is pretty similar to him in mindset. There will be no attack at dawn. And but what about the people who no longer wish to fight at all? They will be allowed to lay down their arms and return to their families in peace and safety, as you insisted. But what's the sacrifice? What's the price? That he what? Quits being king? Take him. Oh, arrest him? Really? Wow, really arrest a child so it's because Are you sure this wasn't their plan all along? I mean at least there's no bloodshed, so uh, but how long is it gonna be in prison for? This looks so weird, you're imprisoning a child. Are you putting him with Viren? Wait. Oh, nah, is this the deal that the prince made with Viren? That, oh, has this been a scheme all along? Or, not all along, but has this been a scheme they planned where they're swapping Viren out for Ezrin to then... Uh, but Viren wants the Azadia, like, completely... Mm. Mm, mm, no, I knew it. I knew this was a big. This, no, no, coup. Ah, oh, yeah, you, you, you're freaking smart, Baron. Really, you're gonna put Ezrin in jail? A child? Oh. Uh. I'm so sorry. It's come to this. No, you're not. No, you're no, not. not. Yes, thank you, thank you, Ezrin and no, Colin. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, you. F <laughs> I. I. <laughs> Good enough, and I never will be. Shut up. Wait, what? 
<laughs> I love how that that's so out of like Callum's character to say shut up that she's like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. That would be my same reaction. I would be like, wait, the sweet, uh, kind of quiet character, not quiet character, but uh, softer character is the one saying shut up. Okay. You have true courage and a big heart. She's blushing. I've seen you get knocked down so many times before in every- Oh, this is- You know what? She talked big of Callan. Callan. <laughs> she talked big of Callum and like, you know, and everything to Soul Regum. Now it's his turn. Except this is to her personally, like face-to-face -face kind of thing. And you're ten times funnier than any human I know. <laughs> See? Human See, Rayla. You know you're amazing. You're smart and fast and beautiful. Smart and fast and beautiful. All right, you're going beyond what he was. She did. She didn't say he was handsome or anything, but you're saying beautiful. Mm, smooth, Calm. Smooth. Really, you're the most amazing person I've ever met. Are you two gonna kiss? Oh, she made the move. <laughs> that face. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Wait, wait, is this, wait, 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 okay, I gotta wait to see what his reaction is, even though, uh, hold on, what's, okay, you know what, this is cute and everything, but why do I feel like Zim's gonna make a noise, and then they're gonna, like, forget, like, not forget this, but move on from this and go after? You're gonna do that, aren't you? That's not what I was expecting. You were seeing all those things, so, uh, Callum, thought, Callum, Callum, well, I mean, I, I wasn't Don't saying it. those things, so you would, Callum. <gasps> We will never speak of this again. Do you understand? Of course, of course, yeah, of course. No! My ship! My ship! I was about to wave my thingy! Don't you go in there! <laughs> Callum! Stop! Go, go, reignite that engine and get the ship back up running, you freaking little... No, I mean never. We walk away and this never happened. Perfect. Oh, my boy. <laughs> okay, that's worse than them being interrupted by anything. That's him completely messing that up and how he's where He's like, oh, uh, I get what he means when he said that wasn't his intention. Like, he wasn't saying those things to get her to kiss him, but that's just the wrong way to word it. Oh, Callum. <gasps> oh, no. All the way, she freaking, he, he bumps into her. I'm sorry, I love these two. Like, these two are so cute. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> she holds on to her. At least they kiss, or she kissed him. Where's Zim? How? You know what I want to know is how did you two not hear or notice the big, like, fifty-foot-tall creatures walking out of the thing? I I'm sorry. Wait, did they take the freaking? Did they take their the mounts too? Where? How did they get them to come along? And that's where you leave. Wow. So we get, we get Raylan to kind of sort of, to kind of sort of, you know, set sail-ish. <laughs> Just for that to like hit a rock. It was an iceberg because they're not sinking. But it's hit, it's uh, at a temporary standstill. But, and then you got, oh my god. Now you got Ezrin in jail. You got Viren, who's I'm guessing going to be king, considering that was probably the trade-off. Um, and then you have Zim and the two mounts now with Nyx, which I still I want to know how Nyx got the two mounts to go with them. Honestly, like how There's, I could see Zim because he's still a baby dragon, but not the two mounts. Unless you like put them, knock them out or something, but at the same time, how do you, how, how was it, how were they picked up? I don't know. But anyway, uh, let me just, let me just see the, you know, drawings. Okay, so there's the tracks of the big beast going off into the desert. Wait, that means, that means Rayla and Callum are gonna have to traverse the desert without the, oh god. Esrin in jail. Of course, so I was gonna say Sokka. Callum with the boomerang. Uh, uh, not chess piece, but map piece for Batalus. I think, like, I'm curious on what Nyx's thing is here, because I feel like she's not bad. She's just, I think, I don't think she's working for anyone. I think it's just that they have their own goal. 
that requires the print? I don't know. Because I like her character. I'm hoping she's not bad. Because I actually like her. I really like her beast creature. I'm sorry. Why is there a rant, like a drawing of the two soul serpents like entered? Oh, wait a minute. Are the, aren't the soul serpents the one? No, because they that was a double headed one. Because I know there was the one that Viren brought to uh, Harrow when he wanted him to switch souls or something like that. Are these the same? Or were the two headed ones like the same breed, but like special because they were two heads, so they could do something specific, whereas these guys are solo? So I wonder, because they. Okay, I bet you that's the case. Because these guys are single headed, so they just suck the soul out, but they don't put it in something else. Whereas the double headed one sucks the soul out and swaps it out for another soul. That I feel like that's the case. That's actually really, that's interesting. But them being intertwined and then in the love heart. <laughs> Okay. All right, Um. let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. <laughs> okay, so that was the Dragon Prince. Oh, or, uh, yeah, that was, that was, you know, whatever. That, the, that was a pretty, uh, not, I, it feels like a packed episode. Cause like, at least for the latter half of it, it was cause you had like major things happen. Like I said, you had Ezrin, you had Ezrin stepping down as king to, so that way no one would be killed. And then swapping him out. They're having him swap out for Viren, which, oh my god, that's going to be so... Ugh. And I, I want to know what Ere, Erebus's goal is. Like, what... I want to know what his goal is. He just seems like he's just up to no good. Like, Or his, his whole thing. I don't know what his goal is, actually. Like, does he hate uh, Azalea and just, like, wants them eradicated because they banished him or something. I feel like so, I feel like, I don't know. Um, and then you have Nyx, who, like I said before, I like her character, so I'm hoping she's not bad. She's just, uh, has her people maybe have their own goals? Because what is she exactly? She's not an elf. Even though I noticed that she only has four fingers like an elf, and she's got the horns, but she's got wings. So could she be a sky elf? That would actually be interesting. Um, but she almost reminds me of a harpy, kind of, so... Harpy elf? I don't know. I feel like she's gotta be a sky elf. But she also mentioned elf like she's not part of the, the race. So, I don't know. But she she is interesting. I want to see more of her and see what her shit is. Um, and why she wants Zim and not to actually take him to the prince. Or not prince, uh, to the queen. But, or maybe she is, but she doesn't trust Rayla and Callum. But that would Callum I could see because him being a human, but not Rayla being, you know... An elf, so I don't, I don't know. Um, and then you had the the Raylum kiss, which was, I guess, more Rayla kissing Callum. I mean, already you know that he has feelings for her, uh, for sure. But it's just the way he words stuff after is now kind of. Uh, they're definitely gonna have to have a talk or something where he says how he feels like after that because now she's gonna think she made a mistake and assume that he liked her and that's why she kissed him and now he makes from his words she thinks that he doesn't feel the same way and he didn't he only said those things to like cheer her up kind of thing like just to be a good friend and so she's probably gonna step back from those feelings and not wanna like She's gonna put the cap on that, which <laughs> he's that's where he's gonna have to take that cap off and be like, no, I do feel that way about you, kind of thing. Or maybe he kisses her. It'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, overall, that was a, it was a good episode. Um, uh, I would say actually maybe my favorite for this season so far. Yeah, because this is only season. This is only episode three, I think, or four. I think this is. That was episode four, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not. Hold on. Let me let me look real quick. I'm pretty sure that was that was four. Yeah, it is four. Okay, so yeah, for that's definitely my favorite episode of the season so far. Um, so yeah, I would say the plot was great. Interested to see what's gonna happen next. Uh, characters were great. Like like Nix is a new character. Like her. Um, even though she's taken Zim. Um, uh, I like her personality and stuff. Uh, I feel like, too, with Callum focusing, or not focusing, but with that moment of Callum seeing the, that thing is, like, boomerang, I feel like she might give him that, or he'll take it? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's, that's not a one-off, like, joke thing. I feel like that, I don't know. But he doesn't need it. He's got, 
magic, so I don't see him needing a boomerang. I that could actually just be a little nod to uh, to Sokka. So never mind, maybe not. Um, it'd be cool if he did. Maybe he like gets a magical boomerang. <laughs> um, animation was great. Uh, music. I actually didn't really notice the music too much. I mean, it's good as usual, but I didn't like notice any specific uh, track that was like, oh wow, kind of thing. Um, but overall, like I said, favorite episode of the season so far. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep it bright. See ya!